and this is what it looks like when it's all put together. Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn this can into this cup stand for your U.S. military canteen cup. Stay tuned. So before we get started, I'd like to remind everyone to make sure and give this video a thumbs up. It helps it get out to more people. I say it toward the end of the video, but a lot of people don't watch all the way to the end, so I'm going to put it towards the beginning. Also, make sure and check out our website, www.waypointsurvival.com. This is where you can sign up for survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And our classes are starting this month in April. We begin actually next week. And we have several classes that go throughout the course of the year, starting with phase one, the survival and bushcraft, all the way to primitive survival and bushcraft phase four. I think you'll like the classes. They're challenging. Regardless of your level and your training, I think you can learn something. We'd love to have you here in a class, so make sure and check that out. So a couple of things. First of all, this can is four inches across. You can find these in the store. They sell them. All kinds of things come in it from beans to stir fry vegetables to whatever else. But it holds between 28 and 30 ounces. So that's kind of an important thing to know. And what you want to do is you want to come down a little more than halfway. And uh, as you see, I've got this marked here. And you just want to follow that rib all the way around. Just like that. And we're going to cut this from the bottom. And we're going to leave this part intact. This is what we want for our cup stand. To cut it, we're going to be using our Fiskars metal snips. And you may have to do this in about four sections because of the curve of the can. It's kind of difficult to do it all at once. So just start in with a straight cut. And then turn it around and start following that line. I'll do that and I'll get back with you. Alright, there we go. So four pieces. And we have this cut off. Now, do be careful. This has sharp edges on it. We're going to deal with that here in a little bit. You may want to use gloves for this if you have soft hands. But uh, otherwise, just be really careful. Next, we need to mark out a rectangle on the side of the can. We're going to come down about three quarters to an inch from the top. And then this is about two and a half inches wide. It doesn't have to be perfect, but we don't want it to go too far. Uh, we don't want too large of an opening uh, because, again, the wind can affect this. So this way you can turn it away from the wind uh, when you have a fire under it. And also we don't want to compromise the integrity of the cup stand. So we don't want to weaken it too much. So about two and a half inches this way is good enough. Next, we're just going to cut this out. All right, now that we got that cut out, we need to use a file or some sandpaper and we need to clean this off and get rid of all of these sharp edges. I would also recommend rounding these points right here so that they don't stab into your fingers or get into your gear. All right, now that we've got that all smoothed off and these edges and these points nicely rounded, we need to form it to the cup. And so how we do that, we want this opening here toward the handle side, so toward the back. First thing we have to do is we have to take this and we have to just by hand begin to make an oval out of it. And again, this is not very hard metal to shape. So you can easily do this with your fingers. Once you get into a relatively oval shape, then try to center this over top of the handles and then begin to push it on. Once you get that on there and this hole pretty well centered over the handles, we have to put this indent in there. And how we do that is we lay it down and take a hammer and then just begin to gently tap it just like this to help bend and conform this metal to that kidney shape. You do that side and you flip it around. do the other side as well. Now you don't want to tap this really hard. We're not trying to damage this. This is stainless steel so it's much harder than the can but we still have to be careful. So just kind of tap it and take your time reversing it back and forth top and bottom until you get basically the same shape as the canteen worked into it. 
Next, we need to put some air holes in it, and we're just going to come down the first or second rib here, and you want it to be below the bottom of your cup here. So if you can see that, we don't want it above this, so staying below this wide section is usually pretty safe, but we want to keep it close to the top, and we're going to leave it on the cup. Make sure this is pressed on firmly. This will help keep it from denting. And we start off in the middle, and this is pretty easy to do with a 16 penny nail, and we're just going to make a series of holes all the way across. When you're done, you'll have something that looks like this. Now, on the inside, you're going to have some really sharp burrs where the nail punctured, so make sure and grind those off with a file or some sandpaper. Uh, a Dremel tool works really well for this with a grinding wheel. All right, now we have those nicely smoothed down, and I used a Dremel tool on it and then some sandpaper. So all the sharp edges are gone off of this, and so it's super lightweight. What you want to do then, of course you take this and you slide it on like this, press it on firmly, and then I like to use a small metal plate. This is just off of an old cookie sheet. And you put this down and you put your Esbit fuel or whatever you have as a, as a tab down here, your fuel tabs, including the ones that I showed you how to make, you light it, and then of course you would turn this away from the wind, and you've got these holes here in the front for the flames as well as for circulation. But this works really, really well. All right, now how do we pack it? The military version of this is tapered, and so it goes on upside down and slides all the way up on there. This one won't just because it's made from a, a can and not uh, properly shaped and formed. So it's not tapered like the cup. But what we can do is we can actually fit it inside, just like this, and push it down. And then the canteen will fit on top. You can firmly push it in there and it will still pull out. It's a little snug, but again, it's not gonna hurt anything and uh, you can easily just take it off the canteen but I find that that's the easiest way to carry it. Put it in like this. Make sure that's down firmly. Of course, the plate that I made for the lid, I did add an extra tab on this side. The drink holes are over here and it just helps it when I tilt it to either pour off the hot water from some noodles or if I'm gonna be drinking coffee or hot tea or chocolate or whatever, uh, this just helps to hold that on there. So you may wanna add that to your lid as well. This goes in the bottom, as well as our little burn plate. You just put that on down in there, wherever you wish. You can put it in first. Then, the folding spoon that I made. Some kits, you can't put a full-size spoon in, and this kit is no exception. So once we fold this in, of course, this is down here. We go ahead and take the spoon and we clip it onto the butterfly handle, just like that. And as you can see, it fits well around the curve of the canteen. And then we very carefully put it in just like this. Now take your time and work with this. Uh, you don't want to just shove it down in there. You have to uh, just be careful and uh, make sure that everything fits really well. Once we get that shoved in all the way to the bottom and you have to work it just a little bit, make sure this is pulled all the way. You can see the spoon resting nicely on the side. Then we can just simply snap it all together and we have a complete cook set, ready to go, spoon included, and we have all that we need other than our food, of course, for eating and drinking and doing everything. Accessing the canteen is very easy. You just leave everything in there. Of course, when you pull it out, this comes with it. That's not a big deal. You can just drink with it the way it is. And then when you're ready, you just slide it back in. Make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. And you can re-snap it. Easier said than done on camera. And there you go. And this is what it looks like when it's all put together. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the more button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take survival and bushcraft classes here at our beautiful training facility in Southern Ohio.
And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.